Welcome to Johnny Arcade. In today's video, I don't know when you're going to see this though, I'm, I'm kind of backed up on videos. I got a few that are super close to being done, ones I'm super excited to complete. And then, uh, of course, like this one, for example, that I don't want to get out right away. I think there's another one before this one, too. I don't know. There's a few. But I'm still doing it. Still finding the balance. Finding out the timing on what and everything I need to say. I feel like I want to keep it in chronological order. Because as I watch, I go back and review my own work. And, uh, you know, so I can study the plays and try to line up my next plays. And, uh, yeah, it starts to align for me. And then I realize, oh, I think it just needs to come out in the order I did it. It's just now you're ready to receive it. So if you're getting my videos and you're watching the videos, it's divine timing as to when you're watching it, you know, yada, yada, yada. All right. So now, with that being said, I wanted to talk about broken heartache today. The song that I wrote, well, that Brandon, Prodigy 6, and I wrote a while back. That was one uh, Paul never got to jump on. Not that he didn't have the opportunity to. I mean, we put it out there, you know. We wanted him on that. There's, you still put him on that. That's easy. Revisions are easy. In fact, they're fun. They can be fun. You know. But... What's crazy is, I talk about this a little bit in one of the previous videos, if I should release this chronologically. Um, but yeah, how like, I remember that day, and not perfectly, I can't remember, like, all I do remember is that Brandon asking me if I could write a hook for this song. Like, he already had a verse written too, already had the beat made. There were a few minor adjustments we did to the beat, which were also kind of... <laughs> Not coincidence, but the intro drums that you hear and before the beat drops, like that happened on accident. And it was so dope. Like we all were like, what? And uh, yeah, we kept it. And so anyways, I'll play the song at the end. Maybe the video, we have a music video we did on it. I'll probably just play that. So you can see, we're all young. Walk around San Diego, different hot spots, dope graffiti and whatnot. So you get a little feel for the city, at least in the thousands, 2004 or five, something like that. I think 2005. The video was re released in like 2007 or something. It was like side project, you know. Now I'd be knocking this shit out and like, a day, a record, edit, SEO, throw that shit out, get it, get it in your ears, and then you, you watch and listen when you need to, but what's funny is, yeah, I was so hyped when I heard this, and I was like, this motherfucker don't even ask me if I could get on the verse, but whatever, I'll try to come up with a hook and a verse, that way, he's like, oh, that's dope, he'll get me on, so I did, I wrote, I'll talk about it again in the video, and I like by the time I got home and had the hook, I'm singing the hook in my little voice recorder. Started writing the verse. Just kind of came out the relationship I was going through at the time. And what's crazy is like, this is what I'm saying. Like, we wrote this shit, you know, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, somewhere, give or take. And uh, man, it's like the whole song. Brandon's verse, the intro, the fact of the like the, the song that we actually sampled. Listen to the song. If you know what song that's from, listen to that song too. And uh, <sighs> it should say below when all my shit's like copyright infringement anyways. So at least we're promoting the, even though we took it and we didn't even do like the queen vanilla ice thing like we straight just took the riff and then I'm, i can vouch dude brandon puts every other beat in there hand placed so and uh to be honest i always ask him to sample riffs and stuff from 
uh, recognizable songs, you know, because it's like then you relate to it, you know. All you need is that little like Tina Turner trumpet, you know. What's love got to do with it? And it's like you don't even have to sample the whole song, but you hear that trumpet, that tone, that frequency, and you're like, it's like musical chairs or whatever, or name that tune. You can hear it in another song. And then that energy, that frequency, that message from that song is carried on to this song. So it's crazy, right? It's all connected. And again, it, we didn't realize this in our own music. I didn't when we were writing it. And what's even crazier, I wanted to point out, we performed this song on a stage in the backyard of our buddy's house at a party one time. It was like one of the best times of my life. And Brandon, I'm not saying he, uh, I think this happened for a reason. Whether he had stage fright or whatever, I don't know why. I, I don't think that's it though, because like, it's not stage fright. He performed half of the damn show and, and we killed it. But for whatever reason, like our, our best song, he, he, he didn't want to, he didn't want to perform it. And it was like, what are you gonna do, John? We gonna, like, this was our last song. Like, we did the whole fucking show. This was our closer. And I'm pretty sure it was a closer, unless we had one more little thing. But, he's like, I, I don't wanna do it. And I was like, all right. And I was like, well, I know it well enough. I'll just do the whole song. Here, I'm gonna keep going on the path. I'm gonna keep doing the whole song. So I went out. And, by myself and I did the whole thing and it, I've always looked at it as like Brandon's verse and my verse, Brandon's verse and my verse and, I, and I've always known the meaning behind the words but now when I hear it again with new ears, right, we've been praying for God to see through our eyes hear through our ears, speak through our mouth work through our hands, well he was working through my hands back then and he was working through my eyes and my ears back then now I have a new perspective from all the experiences that I have encountered since then. And now I listen to the same song that I've been listening to that I wrote 15 to 20 years, give or take, ago. And like I said, it has new meaning now. And, and now that I look back, because I was just going through the lyrics right now so that I can recite them for you. And I want to slow it down like poetry so you can hear and understand the the words that, you know, as it's broken down. I won't do the MC Hammer on this one, I promise. Uh, but I'll still break it down. <laughs> uh, that's fun. I was trying to show you a raven because Janine would be sending me ravens and uh, I hit the button with my finger and it stopped it, so just another confirmation. There it is. I don't even know if it's a raven, but that's a black ass bird. Like, <laughs> there's like pigeons and everything around here all the time, but it looks like a little raven. See, like those are regular. That one's black. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Thanks, to you. Should that be you? Uh, moon's out again. Moon's out. Sun's out. Mike Tyson's punch out. <laughs> uh. Yo, so, yeah, so I performed the song by myself on the stage. And what's crazy is, I was just reciting the whole song right now, thinking, should I just do my verse? Should I do Brandon's verse? Should I ask Brandon to do his verse and then chop it up and blah, blah, blah? And I was like, no, how about I spit the whole song? And those, if you know, you know, the things that I say, it should resonate. If it don't, then resonate your ass. <laughs> Do us a favor, smash that X button up in the corner. For everyone else, I want you to be like, what, this fool, like, prophesize that shit? Yeah, straight up. And I think Brandon, unknowingly, fucking ghost wrote my first verse for me. Fucking ghost writer, yo. His head's like, Phew. ghost writer. Remember the show Ghost Rider back in the day where the kids would get messages from that little spirit soul ball that would follow them around? Not everyone, just certain people saw them. And they like figure out clues. Yeah, remember that? Ghost Rider. 
Yeah. Nicholas Cage. Okay. Should make my head hot. You ready? You ready for some broken heartache? This is good too because when I when I when I recite it. And then when I hear it again and then I play the song, it's like it's like I'm doing my own clearing out, you know. I'm not spreading the negative energy, I'm acknowledging the shadows in my own story, and it helps me clear that out. The cobwebs, because what's crazy, I might have written it for a specific girl at the time. But now that I recite it with all the lyrics, with Brandon and mine combined and everything, and the new perspective I've had, this, this is my pattern, yo. I'm breaking my pattern by acknowledging the pattern and that it exists because this isn't just about one female. This is about all my relationships. This is about my relationship with everybody. You know, there's a little bit of sexual stuff in there because, you know, we get down. But anyone who has been with me or worked with me or known me on a more than just a passing by, recognize me on the street type of relationship. I have a feeling it resonates with you. So, anyways, or that you're going through something similar or what have you. You know, if you're listening to this, you need to hear the words. It's a broken heartache. The, the song would drop and then. Brandy would come out, he'd be like, this song is dedicated to all the females out there who are going through some bad relationships. Check it. For the sake of argument, let's just say we hate each other, but we make love because we go good together. And no matter whether I'm there, baby, don't cry. Did it mean to hurt your pride? Going through nonsense like this, I try to be who I am. Prodigy, damn. It's not my fault, I'm the way I am. Please believe me. On my days, all I wanted to do was be a real man. One who you can stand or at least stand by. Please believe that I tried. And I didn't mean to make you cry, it's just that through these eyes. All I seen is guys who lie, cheat, and beat the girl till they're black and girl, but that till they're black and blue, but that's all I knew. So I'm sorry if I hurt you. Confused and misused as a boy, I admit. But that's no excuse. You don't have to forgive me for shit because I can't fix what's already done. But I promise to change if you give me one more chance. Damn, take it back as I write this song. Back as I write this song. The days all I wanted to do was be a real man. One who you can stand or at least stand by. Please believe that I tried and I didn't mean to make you cry. It's just that through these eyes. All I seen is guys who lie, cheat, and beat the girl to the black and blue, but that's all I knew. So I'm sorry if I hurt you. Confused and misused as a boy, I admit. That's no excuse, but you don't have to forgive me for shit, because I can't fix what's already done. So I promise to change if you give me one more chance. Damn, take it back as I write this song. How many times have I ran that line on you? Truth is, people don't change. They stay the same till the end of time. Now how he used to act was show, so childish, and now I know this. P.S. I'm sorry didn't mean to cause no harm and then the hook would go tales of broken heartache there in the past is there something we can do maybe talk about it baby cause i can't go on much longer like this we've got to work together as a team again And then I'd be like, <laughs> and then I'd be coming like, hear me out at least this once. Things have never been the same since I quit rolling these blunts. Everything has changed. You're ruthless like Rufus, the bum when you keep pulling these stunts. And it ails me. Everybody tells me that I could do better. If I were half clever, I'd crumple up this letter. Begin to make the cheddar, but whatever. I keep on coming back to you. What is a man to do? You got me by the balls or by a doll like voodoo. There is just something about you. Power is supernatural. Tired of battling you. There is no getting mad at you. It's got to be your face. Maybe the way that you taste. What a waste of time. Should have left it all behind, but it keeps on coming back to haunt me. When you used to call me Johnny or Daddy. I used to call you Mommy. Find your panties up in my laundry. 
experimenting with chocolate syrup and toffee. Love hurts, but this hurts worse. My picture in your purse. The reason you would call me on occasion over and over again. I finally think it's over and then the phone rings. It's your name upon the caller ID. Imagine the baller I'd be if it weren't for the flowers and the candy, the hours of you panting, the swishers and the randies. I wish that we can be, but we always abandon each other. You know, and I know it's not right. So I write about it. You're my true, no doubt, kid. And I ain't gonna cry about it. I'll sort it out. Now, the end of that is different in the music video because I wrote it back then. I never really liked... I never really liked the very last line. It came to me when we were working on this again, whatever, last year, six, eight months ago, whatever, when Brandon's like found the freaking holy grail of like all our old shit, most of it, started sending it off. I was like, dude, you got this, just the beat? So yeah, got the beat. We're gonna probably re spit it, try to get Paul on it finally. Maybe get a female to rap and redo the hook or have Havala if she wants to step up. We can redo it. Had some homegirls in the past that would sing her hooks. You know? Jessica, shout out to Jessica. She did, uh, me and Paul were just tripping out on another track we'll, we'll talk about for you guys. Final Destination. <laughs> that, it's, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, the shit that we wrote back then. <laughs> I love it. I love you. If no one told you today, know that you are awesome. And you got at least one homeboy out there praying for you. And all y'all and your family and everything else. It's Lent, yo. Easter's around the corner. The Ascension. Did I forget to mention the Ascension? Hannibal Elector won the election. Standing up, straight up, erect and sun, like a wreck to sex. Yo, I hit you with another. Hit you with another. Bad to set. Yo, I represent what is truth, what is light. The Patriot on the mic. Blowing up like dynamite. I just might ignite, recite a couple words for you to listen to tonight. So much insight coming inside from the Lord himself. I told myself this morning, I gave thanks, and I will continue to spread it. Call up my boy Medic to fix the blunt. Let's go get some lunch, fucking crunch. Bounce out, maybe go catch a movie. Smokers do be, maybe get some booty. Who, me? <laughs> maybe, homie. But I was thinking you and me, we can go get a fucking piece. Pizza. What, you don't like pizza? About to hit you with some shit fucking greasy on your fingers. Get the napkins, yo, what just happened? Johnny Quest grabbed the microphone, he's rapping. I was trapped in this box. Now I'm looking outside, sweating out my feet, take off my socks. Drop the drawers, yo, I drop the floors. After I'm done speaking, everyone gives applause. Lyrical Santa Claus coming down your chimney. It's like, I'm Pinocchio, you motherfuckers is Jiminy. Prick it, we'll kick it, I'll spit it, this lyric. Don't stop until I hit it. I'm not gonna quit it. I'll never forfeit it. <sighs> Taylor comfort fitted. You know how we did it. Or do it, or do ya. I'll ruin it, or screw ya. Either way, I'll drink another brew with ya. Cheers, I love y'all. If anyone told you today, know that you are awesome. God bless. I love y'all. I'll see you soon. Peace. Hey, yo. I want to dedicate this one to all the females out there going through some bad relations. Yo, check it. For the sake of argument, let's just say we hate each other But we make love because we go good together And no matter the weather, I'm there, baby, don't cry 
Didn't mean to hurt your pride Going through nonsense like this I try to be who I am Prodigy, damn, it's not my fault I'm the way I am, please believe me All my days, all I wanted to do Was be your real man One who you could stand Or at least stand by Please believe that I tried And I didn't mean to make you cry It's just that through these eyes All I've seen is guys Who lie, cheat, and beat the girl To the black and blue But that's all I knew So I'm sorry if I hurt you Confused and misused As a boy I admit But that's no excuse So you don't have to forgive me for shit Cause I can't fix what's already done But I promise to change If you give me one more chance Damn, take it back As I write this song How many times have I ran that line on you? Truth is People don't change They stay the same Till the end of time Now how I used to act Was so childish this and now I know this P.S. I'm sorry didn't mean to cause no harm Tales of broken heartache there in the past Is there something we can do? Maybe talk about it baby Cause I can't go on much longer like this We've got to work together as a team have never been the same since I quit rolling these blunts Everything has changed, you're ruthless like Rufus The bum when you keep pulling these stunts And it ails me, everybody tells me that I could do better If I were half clever, I'd crumple up the ladder Begin to make the cheddar, but whatever I keep on coming back to you, what is a man to do? You got me by the balls, or by a doll like voodoo There is just something about your powers, supernatural Tired of battling you, there is no getting mad at you It's gotta be your face, maybe the way that you taste What a waste of time Should've left it all behind But it keeps coming back to haunt me When you used to call me Johnny or Daddy Used to call you Mommy Find your panties up in my laundry Experimenting with chocolate syrup and toffee Love hurts, but this hurts worse My picture in your purse The reason you call me on occasion Over and over again I finally think it's over and then the phone rings It's your name up on the caller ID Imagine the baller I'd be If it weren't for the flowers and the candy The hours of you panting The switches and the randies I wish that we can be But we always abandon each other You know, and I know what's not right And so I write about it You're my truth, no doubt, kid And I ain't gonna cry about it And so I'm out Tales of broken heartache There in the past Is there something we can do? Maybe talk about it, baby Cause I can't go on much longer like this We've got to work together as a team Tales Team again.